What up guys, it's Grants Comics here and today we're going to review Something is Killing the Children number 16, boom, right there. So before I get into the review, I just want to say that um, I'm a little late on Something is Killing the Children. I'm a little bit late um, on number 16 and by this time this video is up, Something is Killing the Children is on number 19. Something's Killing the Children number one is off the roof, it's crazy, and I missed out because I didn't really care for horror comics as much as I do now, but pretty interesting, and from what, I'm, what I've been told from my dad is this possibly might get a TV show, and if it does, a lot of Something is Killing the Children uh, comics is going to go up in price, so... I kind of want to get as much something is killing the children comics as possible. I think the couple, not the last video, but the first to last video, the one when I did the free comic book day, um, the Enter the House of Slaughter, it was mentioned. It's the Enter the House of Slaughter is, I guess you could say, a spinoff to something is killing the children, but not really. But, um, it's crazy it's it's like it's not like horror horror to me and a lot of people say that this uh, this uh, comic or this uh, story or this uh, series is horror but to me there's nothing really st I mean it's gory but it's not like you know scary like something maybe because it's a book maybe if they do make Something is killing the children's story. Maybe they'll be it'll be scary and have jump scares and stuff. But obviously, a book you can't. It doesn't move. You know, it is pictures. So you can't really, you can't really, you can't really tell. But um, but anyways, this particular issue is about a girl named Erica. She sees her uh, mom, her parents, and her sister die from a monster, and this girl, uh, this woman. Um, who helps her out, saves her, and asks her, asks her questions like, what is her name, what does she like to do, and stuff like that. And she basically wants to help this girl, Erica, out, and wants her to be safe from these monsters. But um, the, the twist is, in this issue, because I am reading this mid-issue, mid um, is um, she kills the Erica basically kills these monsters on her own and this lady who is tra who is with her is surprised by her killing these monsters because most kids will either die or they'll be scared like how she explains to Erica and she was just surprised that Erica was brave enough to kill these monsters but at the same time she was scared you know Erica was scared that her uh, parents got killed and her brother her sister got killed by these monsters so this lady who wants to help her and found her basically wants to train her to be a hunter um, at an early age so she takes her under the wing her wings they go to Chicago takes them 10 hours to drive she has a little nightmare the Erica has a little nightmare about the death of her parents um, and then she wakes up to Chicago and which is where the house of slaughter is and if when I reviewed the house of slaughter entered the house of slaughter comic they did mention about it was in Chicago and stuff like that so something is killing the children and entered the house of slaughter is in the same universe so I think like I said I think enter the house of slaughter is like a spin-off to something is killing the children which is cool so and they I'll, they just wear a mask like a bandana and I'll tell you about that after as they go along but um yeah they go to this like mansion or manor where all these kids who are brave and stuff like that and kill are basically monster hunters goes to what where they live and uh, the first thing that Erica and this lady sees is this girl called named Celia and Celia is basically the um, the person, the lady that runs the house of slaughter, um, and she 
meets up. She uh team has Erica team up with this guy or his kid. I think his name is I forget what his name is. Robert or something or Eric or something. Let me look. While I'm at it, I'll look at the uh so here's the lady with uh here's Erica and here's the lady right here that kind of puts her under her, her wings. Here's the manor, the house of slaughter right here. Um here's Celia. She's like a demon kind of chick. Um What's this guy's name? Oh it's, his name is Aaron. So Aaron is kinda of like her, her Erica's brother. Here's the first introduction to uh, Aaron. So, um, what this girl is telling Erica is that people are going to bully you. So, the only way that you can uh, manage these bullies is if you bully them back. And she does mention to Erica about Aaron that he is bullying her. But Erica should bully Aaron. But in a friendly bully, not like a mean bully, like I'm gonna kick your butt kind of thing and stuff like that. Just like a friendly uh, bullying, you know, like play bullying, which I don't think bullying in general is fun or friendly at all. But um, so yeah, she, Erica teams, uh, not teams up, but shares the same bed as Aaron, um, Celia, and this lady that uh, basically is a is a mom to Erica goes to meet this guy called Dragon but the only way you can meet Dragon is if you wear a bandana um, on your face so this lady who is I will just say Erica's mother I guess because Erica's real mother died Erica's other mother takes Erica so there's Erica the other Erica's other mother and Celia and they're going into this hallway and uh, Celia tells Erica, if you want to earn your uh, teeth with your on your mask, you gotta be skilled. You gotta be, you gotta be in the house of slaughter for a long time. But for now, we'll just give you a regular bandana. So the lady, Celia, uh, Erica's mother, uh, puts in black bandana because that's like the hunter color, I guess you can say. So um, uh, Erica's mother puts a bandana around her face. They go into the hall and they meet up with uh, Dragon and on the end of this issue I believe that's it at the end of the issue I guess they sh uh, I guess on issue number 17 you get to see Dragon but for now um, this is where they end up so you can see right here that here's uh, Erica's mother other mother and this one over here is Celia you can see Erica does not have a teeth on her bandana because like, like I said um, you gotta earn your you gotta earn your uh, uh, what uh, er, uh, Celia was trying to say to Erica is that you gotta earn your teeth so um, yeah so you gotta earn her teeth and where it says right here welcome to the house of slaughter welcome home so this like I said Something is killing the children and enter the house of slaughter is in the same universe, which I think is cool. But um, anyways, here's one more look at the cover right there. Very clean. Boom. Cool cover. Boom Studios. We got James Tyneal number four. Hopefully, I'm I'm probably butchering that name. We got Winthrez Del Dira and Miguel. Moreto. I probably butchered all their names and I apologize but um, here it is right here something is killing the children number 16 and hopefully if I find another something is killing the children issue hopefully it's issue 15 and 17 and hopefully I find something is killing the children number 19 because that's the newest issue and hopefully I find another house into the house of slaughter so I can get that too but um, anyways, give this video a thumbs up, share with all the comic book community, and comment down below what you think of this uh, comic review. If you have any other um, ideas of what comics I should read and review, you can also comment down below on that. But anyways, like I said, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright.